Good morning, guys. Thanks for joining me this morning. Uh, my name is Amanda, and we're getting ready for our 75-minute power flow today. Um, so as we get started with class today, feel free to grab any props that you normally use throughout your practice. Um, hopefully now you have that repertoire of home props as well, maybe a stack of books instead of a block, a pillow instead of a bolster, something like that. Um, and today you might wish to have a strap as well. I'm going to be trying out this elastic resistance band, um, but a bathrobe tie works just as well. Or if you have a regular yoga strap, that will work perfectly fine. So let's get those props ready and we will get started on our mats lying down in Supta Baddha Konasana. So getting comfortable here, allowing the front side of the body to just open up towards the sky. Take a moment to adjust, maybe walking the shoulder blades underneath the back, lifting the heart skyward, allowing the inner thighs to soften, outer edges of the feet press firmly into the earth, and the hands can come down by your sides, palms face up, or maybe you bring that right hand to the low belly and left hand to the heart. Allow the eyelids to become heavy. And let's settle in. Starting with a scan of the body from head to toe. Just seeing if you can send a mental signal to certain places in the body to relax. Maybe that's the jawline, maybe it's the shoulders, maybe it's the chest, the hips. Allow everything to soften. Let's bring our attention inward, focusing now on the breath, creating that deep, full breath in, and complete exhale, filling up from deep within the belly, and then sighing it out on the exhale, reaching deep down into the belly, pulling that breath up to the ribs, up to the chest, and then exhale, reverse. A few more deep belly breaths, just like that. Inhaling belly, ribs, chest, filling up. And as you exhale, getting rid of anything that no longer serves you. Two more. After that next exhale, returning to a normal breath pace, as you bring your awareness to the space in the middle of the forehead, your third eye, and set your intention for today's practice. And slowly fluttering the eyes open, reaching the hands down for the outer edges of the thighs to draw the knees together, feet down, knees come up. Exhale, right knee comes into the chest. Try to keep that right knee tracking with the right shoulder. Spine stays nice and long on the mat. Back of the head, shoulders and hips firmly press against the mat. And then slowly, maybe you begin to extend that left leg, pressing through the heel, toes reach up towards the sky. Keep the activity in that left leg as you reach the right leg skyward. Grabbing on behind the thigh of the calf or the back of the ankle, pulling the leg in closer towards you. Again, trying to keep it in line with the right shoulder. And we'll just begin pointing and flexing the right foot. 
Again, checking with the spine, ensuring that it's still nice and long. And then bringing the foot to stillness, flexing the toes towards the face. Maybe you adjust your grip, pulling the leg closer in towards the heart. One more breath in. As you exhale, settle. Taking that left hand to the outside of the thigh, the calf, or the foot, allow the right leg to sweep all the way over towards the left side of your mat. You're gonna roll up onto the left hip. And from here, maybe that right arm comes out to a T. Try to bring that right shoulder down to the earth. One more deep breath in and out. Slowly bend into the right leg. Finding a spinal twist here. That left hand might come to the outside of the right thigh. Allow the inner thighs to settle. Finding one more breath here. Twisting a little deeper. And then slowly unwinding, untwisting, bringing the sole of that right foot to the left inner thigh, coming into your figure four legs. You might need to adjust the hips. Inhale, sweep the arms up overhead, getting nice and long through the sides of the body. As you exhale, we're gonna roll up one vertebrae at a time. Drawing ourselves all the way up to a nice tall seat. As you exhale, hinge and fold over the left leg. Maybe the hands come to the calf. Maybe they come all the way down to the sole of the foot. Try to lengthen the upper body over the left leg. Bringing heart to thigh. Take one more deep breath in. See if you can find some extra length. And exhale, so. Inhale, slowly rolling all the way up. Bringing feet down to the mat, knees up. And we'll make our way all the way back down so that we can move to the other side. We'll start by drawing the left knee into the chest. Making sure it's tracking with the left shoulder. Option now to extend that right leg forward. Pressing the heel towards the top of the mat, toes towards the face. Try to press that right thigh down into the mat. And then we'll extend the left leg skyward. Grabbing on wherever you can, possibly using your strap here. And then pointing and flexing with the foot. Starting with these little movements as we build to bigger movements throughout the practice. Still strong through that right leg. Finding stillness with the left foot, draw the leg in closer towards the body. Feel a nice stretch through the left hamstring. Keep those left toes nice and active. And then shifting the grasp of your leg, taking the right hand to the outside of the leg somewhere and allowing that left leg to drift all the way over towards the right edge of your mat. Slowly with control, that left arm comes out to a T. Both shoulders stay plugged into the earth. Again, keep pressing out through the left heel, drawing toes up towards the face, feeling some intensity in that left IT band. Slowly softening into the leg, bending that left knee, finding your spinal twist. Allow the inner thighs to soften. Maybe the gaze goes over the left shoulder.
See if you can draw the belly button towards the spine, twisting just a little deeper. And then slowly unwinding and twisting, bringing both hips back to the mat. Left foot comes to the right inner thigh. Again, maybe adjusting the hips so they're even on the earth. Sweeping the arms up overhead whenever you're ready. And then exhaling, rolling up one vertebrae at a time. Reach the arms up. And then folding over the right leg. Grab on to whatever you can, drawing your heart closer towards the thigh. Nice and long through the spine here. Trying to create that space through the back side of the body. Maybe you use the breath to help you soften in. Inhale, lifting up and away. And exhale, folding a little deeper. Slowly beginning to roll all the way back up. And again, we'll bring the feet down, knees up. This time, we'll tend the fingertips behind us or plant the hands behind us, um, fingertips facing in towards the body. Draw the shoulders together on the back, puff the heart forward. And from here, we're gonna lean some of the weight back into the hands and lift the legs along in front, coming into a modified boat or navasana. Keep pushing the heart towards the top of your mat, shoulders draw back. Pointing the toes. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, bringing both feet down to the mat about hip distance apart. As you inhale, lift the hips coming into your reverse tabletop. So pausing here, working again to draw the shoulders together on the back. Finding a nice long line from shoulders to knees. Inhale. As you exhale, send the hips through between the arms. Allow them to hover if you can. Hollow out the core, and then slowly bringing your seat back to the mat. Lean back into the hands, lift the legs in front, finding your boat. Deep breath in. Exhale, feet down to the mat, hip distance apart, lift the hips, reverse table. Lift the gaze skyward. One more breath. As you exhale, sending hips through between the arms, swing them back. Allow them to hover in space. And then slowly lower hips to the mat. Lean the weight back into the hands. Draw the shoulders and elbows towards one another. Lift the legs. Last round. Deep breath in. Exhale, feet down to the mat. Inhale, lift. Reverse table. And as you exhale, swinging those hips through between the arms, finding that hover, hollow out the core. And then slowly lowering all the way down, drawing the feet back down, knees up. This time, we'll sweep the arms forward. Keep lifting the heart forward as you rise up onto the toes of the feet. Begin to drag the toes in towards the body, lifting the shins to parallel with the mat. Try to draw the knees in towards one another. Nice and strong here. Inhale, low boat. Exhale, crunch. Inhale, lower. And exhale, crunch, knees to chest. Inhale. Exhale with some force. Inhale. And exhale. Back and forth with your own breath. Keep sending the shoulders back in space. Last three, two, one. Pause here, crossing the feet at the ankles, rolling forward to seated. Inhale, circle sweep the arms up overhead. Exhale, let it go. Inhale, circle sweep. As you exhale, side bending over to the right. So right hand comes down to the mat. Reach the left fingertips towards the right edge of your mat. Lift the left ribs up towards the sky. Maybe you lower down onto that right forearm. Ground through the left hip. Keep 
reaching through the left fingertips. And then some slight movement here. Exhale, rolling both shoulders towards the mat. Inhale, open up. Exhale, heart towards the earth. Inhale, open. Exhale, roll it down. Inhale, open up, reaching through the left fingertips. Inhale, rising all the way up through center and over to the left side. Left hand or forearm come down to the earth. Reach through the right fingertips. Draw that right shoulder back, spiraling the heart towards the sky. Grounding that right hip down into the earth. Nice side body stretch through the right side. And again, we'll find some movement. Inhale, open the shoulders. Exhale, start to close them off towards the earth. Inhale, open. And exhale, close. Nice small movements. Inhale. And exhale. One more. Inhale, open. Exhale, close. Coming back to that open position. Inhale, swimming both arms up towards the sky. Exhale, hands down to the top of your mat, rolling over the knees, coming to tabletop pose. Taking a moment to set it up here. Fingers nice and wide. Grip the mat with the fingertips and the knuckles. Knees about two fist distance apart. Nice and long to start, reaching the crown of the head forward, tailbone back. Draw that belly up and in. And once you feel ready, inhale, drop the belly, looking forward, tailbone tilts up. Exhale, round it out, push yourself away from the mat. Inhale, belly drops, gaze lifts up and forward. And exhale, rounding it out, spread those shoulder blades towards the sky. Back and forth with your own breath. Finding any other movements that suit you here. One more round. Let's go ahead and meet in that cow pose. Dropping the belly down. Let's come up onto the fingertips of the hands. And then that's going to enable us to spiral the triceps underneath and draw the shoulders towards the hips. Inhale. Exhale. Keep drawing the shoulders back. Inhale. Exhale, maybe you start to lift the gaze. Inhale, exhale, sink the belly. One more, inhale, exhale, draw the fingertips towards the back of your mat. Slowly lowering hands down to the earth. We'll tuck the toes, lift the hips to the sky, coming into our downward facing dog. Starting to walk it out here, noticing what your downward facing dog shape feels like today. Feel free to take any movements that feel good here. Recommendations, if you are tight in the calves, maybe you bend into both legs at the same time, and then send the heels towards the earth. If it's the hamstrings, one leg and then the other. If it's the shoulders, maybe forward and back, from plank to down dog. And whenever you're complete, finding stillness on the mat, pressing those fingertips down and forward, taking some of the weight out of the wrists, lift the tailbone up and back to where the ceiling and wall meet, and work to send those heels down towards the earth. Deep breath in, and exhale, settle. Inhale, rolling forward like a wave. Passing through plank as you exhale, hips crash towards the earth, hover in space, draw those shoulders back. Inhale, lifting up and back, downward facing dog. Shift it forward like a wave and allow those hips to crash down towards the earth, draw the shoulders back. Inhale, pick the hips back up, meeting back in downward facing dog. A few more rounds just like that, shifting forward, lower the hips, take your back bend. And then back to downward facing dog. One more. Inhale. 
exhale, inhale, picking the hips back up, and we'll meet back in our downward facing dog. Inhale that right leg up and back, making sure the weight's still even through both hands, bend the knees, stack the hips, open up. Work to send that left heel down towards the mat as you reach that right knee skyward. Again, evening out the weight through the hands. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, slowly extending that right leg. And from here, we're gonna hinge it forward, keeping that right leg nice and straight. Allow it to tap outside of the right hand. Inhale it up and back in space, three-legged dog. Exhale, sweeping that right leg forward outside the right hand to tap. Inhale, up and back. Exhale, send it forward to tap. Inhale, up and back. This time, send it forward. And we'll plant it down. Bend that front knee, coming into a nice wide lunge. Inhale, lifting the collarbones forward. Exhale, step it forward, forward fold. Take a moment to settle in here. Maybe a soft bend in the knees. Taking the gaze towards the back of the mat. Inhaling, halfway lift. And exhale, fold. One more. Inhale, halfway lift. And exhale, let it go. Earth to sky, reaching the arms up and forward. When you get to the top, press the hips forward, take a back bend. And exhale, swan dive, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, hands plant. Right leg steps along behind. Nice wide lunge. Inhale, the collarbones forward. Open up the hips. Exhale, hands down to the mat. Stepping back to plank. Full or modified, your choice. Shifting forward. Hug the elbows in as you lower down. Flipping the feet. Taking your back bend to choice. And eating back in downward facing dog. Inhaling, left leg reaches up and back, keeping the weight through the upper body even as you open up that left hip. Try to spiral that left shoulder back down towards the mat if it opened up. Right heel reaches for the earth, left knee reaches skyward. Find that opening, inhale and exhale. Inhale, left leg up and back, exhale. Tap that left foot outside the left hand. Left leg as straight as it can be. Inhale, up and back. Exhale, tap foot outside the hand. Inhale, up and back. Exhale, tap. Inhale, up and back. And last one, tapping. This time settling the foot all the way down. Bend the front knee, sink the hips, lift the heart, inhale. Exhale, step it forward, wide-legged fold. Inhaling, halfway lift. Exhale, let it go. Inhale, sweep the arms forward, rise up, reach up, press the hips forward at the top. Exhale, swan dive forward, fold. Inhaling, halfway lift. And exhale, plant the hands, step that left foot all the way back. Nice wide lunge here. Sink the hips, inhale, exhale, hands down, feet back, high plank, forward and down. Go through your flow, and we'll meet in downward facing dog. Gazing forward to the top of the mat, walking one footprint at a time, all the way to the top. Take care with the body here. Use this opportunity to find a little length through the back side of the body as you arrive in your fold. Maybe a slight bend in the knees, grab opposite elbows to picture frame the face. Shake the head yes and no. Maybe a gentle sway from side to side. Work on creating space through the back side of the body and through the sides of the body. Coming back to center as you're ready. Inhaling, halfway lift. And exhale, fold. 
Inhale, sweep the arms forward, rising all the way up. And exhale, hands pass through heart center, Samas Titihi. Inhale, circle, sweep, lift, reach. And exhale, hinge and fold. Inhale, halfway lift, find that length. And exhale, plant the hands, stepping or hopping back, finding your plank as we finish our sun salutation, forward and down. And we'll meet back and down our facing dog. Gazing forward, walking, stepping, hopping forward. Listen to your body. Inhaling, halfway lift. And exhale, let it go. Arms sweep forward and up. This time, exhale, swan back, forward fold. Right back down. Inhale, lift and lengthen. And exhale, hands plant. Stepping or hopping back. Find plank. Chaturanga. Lower halfway down. Take your back bend. Inhale. And exhale. We'll meet in downward facing dog. One more like that to finish warming up the body. Gazing forward. Walking or hopping to the top of the mat. Inhaling halfway lift. And exhale. Fold. Earth to sky all the way up. And exhale, send it right back down. Inhale, lift, lengthen. Exhale, hands plant. Make your way back to plank and go through your flow. Pausing here in our downward facing dog. Feeling at home. Take a deep breath in and out. Inhale, that right leg sweeps up and back. Pause here, send that left heel down towards the earth. Feel the stretch through the back side of the left leg as you lift the right toes high. Exhale, step the right foot forward. Back foot spins down at an angle, rising up to our warrior one. Right hip draws back in space. Reach the arms up. Lift the back of the heart forward. Maybe you lift up on those front toes, give them a little wiggle. Try to knit the ribs towards the pelvis on the front side of the body. Nice and strong through the back leg. Inhale, lift the heart, lift the fingertips. Exhale, hands pass through heart center. Open up a warrior two. Spin that back foot down all the way. Work to open up that left hip towards the left edge of your mat. Draw the shoulders together on the back. Nice and active with the fingertips. Still a deep bend in that front knee. Begin to soften in here, settle. Keep those hips tucked underneath the shoulders. One more deep breath in. Exhale, curve the hands down to frame that front foot. Spin up onto the toes of the back foot, and that left hand plants down. Right arm sweeps up towards the sky, finding your revolved crescent. Draw that right hip back and in. Feeling a nice stretch on the outer right hip. Right fingertips actively reaching towards the sky. Spiraling right shoulder back. Left ribs towards left inner thigh. Back leg nice and active. Gaze can go down or it can go up. From here, slowly turning all 10 toes to face the right edge of the mat. You can stay here in a modified side plank or step that right leg back to meet the left. Arc the hips towards the sky. Feet stacked or staggered. Arms at a T. One more breath in. Exhale. Right hand comes down to the mat. Shift it forward. Lower down. And go through your flow. As you inhale, left leg reaches up and back. 
Again, taking a moment here to pause, shoulders still working their way away from the ears. Right heel reaching towards the earth, left toes lift. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, step it all the way through. Rise up, warrior one. So starting on this side, drawing both hip points towards the top of your mat. Knitting ribs towards the pelvis. Deep bend into that front knee. Making sure the knee is over the ankle. And then lifting the arms. Glutes engaged here. Working to help you square the hips. Keep rooting through that back leg. Back leg is as active as the front. As we're here, continuing to make micro adjustments to help you settle in. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, hands pass through heart center. Nice and strong. Back foot spins down, open out warrior two. So adjust your stance if you need to. This time opening up through that right hip by pressing into the outer edge of the back foot. Settle into that front knee bend. Tuck the hips under. Find that space between effort and ease here. Slowly working to draw that left hamstring back in space. Inhale. Exhale, hands cartwheel down to the mat. Frame the front foot, rolling up onto the toes of the right foot. This time, right hand plants, left arm sweeps up towards the sky. Keep lifting the back thigh towards the sky. Hug the inner thighs together. Nice and long through the spine, crown of the head reaching towards the top of the mat instead of rounding down. Find a lift of the body through the left side, through the fingertips. Inhale. Exhale, turning all ten toes to face the left side of your mat. You can stay here or step it back, side plank, lifting the hips skyward. Find that engagement through the side body, arms at a T, hips are stacked. One more inhale to lift, exhale, finding plank, shift it forward, lower down, and go through your club. Meeting back in our downward facing dog. Inhale, right leg reaches up and back. Lift the toes, find that stretch. Exhale, step it all the way through. Warrior one again, back foot spins down at an angle. So allow your body to feel the adjustments that you're automatically making now. Settling in. Feeling a sense of heaviness through the lower body. Feeling a sense of lightness through the upper body. Transitioning a little differently this time. We're going to inhale, reach. Find length through the spine, through the sides of the waist. As you exhale, lean the upper body forward. Airplane the arms. Palms face the sky. Draw the shoulders back and together. Working to draw the thumbs towards one another. From here, we're going to shift the weight forward into that right foot. Lift the left leg up and back. Modified warrior three. And then slowly, we're going to transition, planting those back toes down. Spin to the inner edge of the back foot. Open up, warrior two. So for those of you who find trouble transitioning straight from warrior one legs to warrior two legs, that's another option that you have that includes a little bit of balance. Nice and broad across the collarbones. Deep breath in. As you exhale, bring that right forearm to the right thigh. Left arm sweeps up by the ear. 
finding your side angle. If those hips came untucked, tuck them back underneath the body and try to keep that right side nice and long. Not too much weight into that right forearm. Nice long diagonal line of energy from the left fingertips all the way through the back foot. Open up the left shoulder and the left hip, spiral them back. And then if you feel okay here and want to deepen, maybe you reach that right hand down, come into your half bind, come into your full bind, whatever feels best for you today. When you've found that sweet spot, let's take two breaths there. And then slowly unwinding, making your way back to side angle. Deep breath in. Exhale, hands come down inside that right foot. Again, rolling up onto the toes of the left foot. We're gonna keep the left knee lifted as we inch those right toes out towards the edge of the mat. Toes out, heel in. From here, you can stay here, working to sink the hips, but lift the back leg. Heart lifts forward. Maybe you lower down onto the forearms. If you'd like to, maybe we can do some lizard push-ups. What you do here is press into the hands, extend the arms, exhale, wrap the triceps underneath, lower forearms to earth, push up, lower down. Push up, lower, push, lower, push, tap, push, tap, push, tap, three more, two, one, pressing back up into the hands, everyone meeting in that high lizard pose, taking a deep breath in, and exhale, stepping back to plank, shift it forward, lower down, and go through your flow. Meeting in our downward facing dog. Inhale, left leg up and back, sending right heel down, left toes up, inhale, exhale, step it all the way through, rising up, warrior one, deep bend in the front knee, again, self-adjusting here, checking in with all those same minor adjustments we made before. Inhale, finding length. As you exhale, lean the upper body forward. Airplane the arms. Keep drawing that left hip back in space as you lean forward. Glutes working towards each other. Thumbs working towards each other on the back. Keep leaning forward. Shift the weight into the left foot. Right toes lift up and back. Keep drawing shoulders away from the ears. And then slowly lower. Right toes back down, back foot spins down all the way. Open up a warrior two. Taking a moment to find upright, settle in. Deep inhale, exhale, left forearm to left thigh. Sweep that right arm up by the ear, opening up. Again, opportunity, tucking those hips, tuck the tailbone, press out through that back foot, drawing some of the weight into the back leg instead of dumping it all into the front. If you also notice that most of your weight is in that left shoulder, maybe the left shoulder is coming up by the ear, press yourself away from the front thigh. Nice and long through the side body. Nice and light through the left side. And if you'd like to add on, taking the variation of side angle that's calling to you, remembering that both sides are different. If you've taken that bind, make sure that your shoulders aren't hunching towards the earth. Try to draw that right shoulder back, keep the hips tucked, keep reaching the crown of the head forward. One more breath. And then slowly 
unwinding that twisting. Take an inhale, exhale, hands come down inside the left foot. Roll up onto the toes of the back foot. And we'll walk the left toes out towards the edge of the mat. Heel remains in. Staying up on the hands, sink the hips, lift the heart, or lower down to the forearms. Making sure the elbows are underneath the shoulders. You can stay here, or again, we can press into the hands, lift the forearms away from the mat. As you exhale, wrap the triceps, lower forearms down. Press, lower, press, lower. It's like one of those lizards doing push-ups on your wall. Moving with the breath. Keep that back leg active. Last three, two, one. Walk the hands back and towards the body. Sink the hips, lift the heart, take a breath in. Exhale, stepping back to plank, shifting forward, lower down, and go through your flow. Meeting back in our downward facing dog. Inhale, right leg reaches up and back. Exhale, sip it all the way through. So each time we're finding some more space, rise up, warrior one. From here, draw that right hip back even further than you think. Right hand comes down by your side. Reach the left fingertips up and over, maybe slightly towards the back of your mat. That right hand comes down the back thigh, exalting your warrior one. Inhale, find length. Exhale, sweep that left hand behind the back to meet the right. Interlace the fingers, lift the heart. And as you exhale, hinge and fold, humble, humble warrior. That right shoulder comes inside the right knee, working to hug them together. Hug that right hip in towards the midline as well. Reaching the crown of the head towards the earth. Maybe you take the gaze towards the back foot. On an inhale, find the halfway lift, nice and long through the spine. Draw that right knee back in towards the midline. Release the hands. Left hand reaches down as you extend that front leg, opening up into your revolved triangle. That right hand can stay at the right hip or maybe reach towards the sky. Nice T with the arms. Just as we prepared, continue to draw that right hip back in space. Exhale, right hand down to the mat. Hinge and fold, finding your pyramid. So from here, maybe you stay in your pyramid. Maybe you start to walk the fingertips towards the back of the mat. Fingertips facing back, thumbs facing out. If you'd like to add on, we're going to hop that back foot up and in just a little bit. Send the hips back. Putting weight into the hips, put weight into the fingertips. Start to round through the shoulders, rounding nose towards the knee, and come up onto the toes of the back foot. One last add-on if you'd like. See if you can lift that back leg entirely, coming into your humble flamingo. Slowly release. Hands come back under the shoulders. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant the hands, bend that front knee slightly. As you open up into your side plank, left hand down, right arm up. Maybe that top leg stays lifted. Maybe you extend the right arm up by the ear. One more deep breath in. Exhale, right hand down to the mat. Keep that right leg lifted if you wish. Shift it forward, lower down, and go through your flow. We'll meet back and downward facing dog. Inhale, left leg up and back. Exhale, finding the space, step it through. Warrior one. Two, 
This time as you draw the left hip back, left hand comes down by your side. Reach the right fingertips up and over and towards the back of your mat. Finding a nice stretch through the right side, left hand maybe comes to the back thigh. Lift the right ribs forward, lean the upper body back. Inhale, exhale, right hand sweeps back behind you to meet the left. Extend the arms, lift the heart. And then as you exhale, with a nice flat back, begin to hinge and fold, finding that humble warrior. Draw the hips in towards the midline, squeeze the inner thighs together. Hands can stay at the low back or reach up overhead. So you're not dumping the shoulders up towards the ears. You're still reaching the fingertips towards the sky as you reach the crown of the head towards the earth. Inhale, finding that halfway lift, nice flat back. Slowly release the hands. Right hand comes down as you extend that front leg opening up, twisting towards the left edge of your mat, finding your revolve triangle. If your stance is too far, you can always hop that back foot up and in. Maybe bringing that right hand to a block, spidering our fingers. If you'd like to deepen, that right hand can come outside the left foot. Just working to keep the sides of the waist nice and long. Deep breath in, squeeze the legs together, and as you exhale, fold, find your pyramid pose. Nice stretch on that left hamstring. And again, you can choose to stay here. Maybe you begin to walk the hands towards the back of your mat, fingertips back, thumbs out, finding a deeper stretch. Or maybe you tend those fingertips. Step that back foot up and in just a smidge. Press down into the fingertips, round the shoulders towards the sky, and come up onto the toes of that back foot. If you feel like you can get even more buoyant, press the fingertips down, round the shoulders towards the sky, and then lift that back foot in towards the glute. Slowly release. Walk the hands underneath the shoulders. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant the hands. Right hand stays down as you step it back, side plank. That left leg can stay lifted. Step back to meet the right. Reach up, your choice. One more breath, arc those hips up. And then exhale. Find plank, shift it forward, lower down, and go through your flow. Meeting in downward facing dog. So taking three rounds of breath here, either in your downward facing dog, or if you'd like to come down to child's pose, feel free to do that now. Also a reminder, feel free to grab water at any point in time. As you're ready, making your way back to downward facing dog. As you inhale, right leg reaches up and back. Exhale, step it all the way through. This time, back foot spins down all the way, rising up through warrior two, reverse. Spread those right ribs towards the front of your mat as you deepen the front knee bend. Try to draw that right hamstring back in space. Reach the right fingertips back. Inhale, extend the front leg. Reverse triangle. Exhale, curl the hands down to frame that front foot. So you still have your triangle legs. Let's tuck that right hip in and fold. Draw the right hip towards the back of your mat. Feeling the stretch dead center of the hamstring all the way down through the center of the calf. 
to settle in. Keep lengthening the ribs over that front thigh. Inhale, halfway lift. Step that right hand inside the right foot and begin to open up into your triangle. Tuck those hips underneath the body. Reach the left fingertips skyward. Nice and long through the waistline. The inhale draws you up. Hands come to heart center. As you exhale, bend the back knee, sink the hips, finding your skandhasana, your surfer's lunge. So hips go down, lift the crown of the head skyward. Try to settle the weight into the heel of the left foot, sinking the weight back. Draw the shoulders together on the back. Tuck the tailbone. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, hands come down to the mat. We're gonna shift the weight evenly into both legs, toes out, heels in, as you ride up, rise up into your goddess legs. Hands come to the tops of the thighs. Again, tuck the tailbone, draw the shoulders back. Settle in. Maybe you give yourself a little bounce, a little wiggle from side to side. Have fun with it. Just make sure the knees and ankles are stacked. Knees tracking with that second toe. And then finding stillness, deep breath in. As you exhale, dip the left shoulder, twisting towards the top of your mat. Inhale, center. Exhale, right shoulder dips, twist back. Inhale, center. Exhale, front. Left shoulder dips. Inhale. Exhale, twisting back. One more each side. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale, center. Sweep the arms forward. Plug the shoulders together on the back. And then up an inch, down an inch, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. Keep moving, keep it going. Let those thighs burn. Pausing down, exhale, hands come down to the mat. Start to extend that left leg as you find your skandhasana towards the top of the mat. So bending deeply into that right knee, hands can stay on the mat or maybe they come to heart center. Left toes rotate towards the sky. Again, sinking the weight back and down. Deep breath in. Exhale, both hands come down to the mat. Walk yourself to face the front of the mat. Lower down onto the left knee. Rise up on Jameyasana, nice low lunge. Inhale, lengthen. And exhale, hands come down. Back toes tuck under, stepping back three legged plank, shift it forward, lower down, and go through your flow. Nice. Inhale, left leg up and back. Exhale, step it all the way through. Back foot spins down at an angle, or all the way, rise up through warrior two, reverse. Lift those left ribs forward. Draw the left hamstring back. So you're really working to reach the left side of the ribs up towards the sky instead of leaning all the way towards the back of your mat. Settle into the weight in that front heel. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, hands come down to frame that front foot. Extend the leg. Pause here and fold. Tuck that left hip in. Make sure you have those nice long triangle legs. And again, you should feel the stretch dead center on the hamstring, maybe even all the way down through the center of the calf. Try to reach the crown of the head towards the mat with each exhale. Inhaling halfway lift. Step that left hand inside the left foot and start to peel yourself open coming into triangle. Now most likely those left fingertips are going to drift away from the mat and that's fine. Goal is to keep nice long side body. 
Spiral that right shoulder back in space. Maybe gazing up towards the right thumb. Feel the sensation of hugging the thighs towards one another. That left thigh back, the right thigh forward. Keeping you nice and stable here. On your inhale, rising all the way up. Hands come to heart center. Begin to bend into the right knee. Sink the hips, finding that side lunge towards the back of your mat. And left toes rotated towards the sky. If you need to bring the hands down, feel free. One more deep breath in. Everyone hands down to the mat. Working to even out the weight in both legs, coming back to that goddess stance. And from here, we're going to walk the hands forward, finding a downward facing dog through the upper body. Keep muscularly drawing the knees open, drawing the inner thighs open. Walking hands underneath the shoulders. Inhale, halfway lift just with the upper body. And then we're going to walk, rock the weight forward into the toes, bringing some weight into the fingertips. Exhale, weight into the heels, lift the toes, rock it forward. Weight goes into fingertips and toes, and then rock it back. If you feel comfortable, maybe you add on here. When you rock the weight into the toes, maybe you give yourself a little hop. See if you can get some air. If not, just keep rocking back and forth. Just trying to get a little air time going. Be safe, be careful. If you don't feel ready, don't do it. And then we'll all meet back in our goddess legs. Inhale, sweep the arms forward, draw the shoulders back, sink the seat. And exhale, hands to heart center as you extend that right leg back, sinking into your skandhasana at the top of the mat. Allowing that right leg to be nice and long. Inhale, exhale, hands to the earth as you walk yourself to the top of the mat. Right knee lowers down, sweep the arms up, Anjaneyasana, that little lunge. Inhale, find length, exhale, hands down, left leg goes back to hover in space, three-pointed plank, shift it forward, lower down, and go through your flow. Meeting in downward facing dog. Inhale, gazing towards the top of the mat, exhale, walk, step or hop it forward, Inhale, halfway lift, and exhale, let it go. Earth to sky all the way up, and exhale, hands through heart center. Finding that mountain pose at the top of your mat, we'll work on some standing balance here. So let's ground through that left foot. Right knee draws up into the chest. Pausing here, just working to find the balance. Maybe the hands are at heart. And then slowly, allow that right hand to drip to the low back, fingertips facing down. Notice the tuck of the tailbone. Left hand comes to the outside of the right thigh. Start to open the shoulders up towards the right edge of your mat. Try to keep that right thigh parallel with the earth. Draw the belly in, twist a little deeper. If you'd like to add on, Maybe you extend that right arm back. Maybe you reach down for the outer edge of the right foot, extending the leg forward. Your choice. Try to create one nice long line of energy from the crown of the head through the base foot. And then pressing rewind, right hand to low back. That left hand comes back to the outer edge of the right thigh. Twist back to center and cross right ankle just above the left knee, sinking into your one-legged chair. Your right foot's flexed. Sink the hips back and down. Spine is long. And just like we did in our goddess, 
up an inch, down an inch. Find the balance up, down, up, down, engage those glutes, up, down, up, down, up, down and hold. Slowly root to rise and step that right foot down. Shake it up. As you're ready, rooting through that right foot, left leg up into the chest, hands heart center, or wherever you like them for your balance. It's different for everyone. Working here to draw the heart forward, tailbone tucks. Bring that left hand to the low back, right hand outside the left thigh. Twist the upper body open. So tuck the belly in, left shoulder draws back in space. You can stay here, or if you'd like to add on, again, reaching left hand towards the back of your mat, draw the shoulders together. Maybe you reach down for the outer edge of the left foot, kicking it away from the body. Scoop that left hip into its socket. Nice and tall, not leaning forward, not leaning backward. Let's press the rewind button. Left hand to low back, right hand to the outer edge of the left thigh, twist it back to center, and then cross left ankle over the right knee, sinking into your one-legged chair. You got this. Hips go back and down. Send that left knee down towards the earth. Last push, up an inch, down an inch, up, down, up, down, up. At your own pace, with your own breath, whatever feels right, down and hold. Inhale, root to rise. Left leg steps down to meet the right. Coming back to the top of the mat. Inhale, rising up, circle, sweep the arms. And exhale, hinge and fold. Inhaling, halfway lift. From here, we're gonna step that left foot back. A couple of feet. Front foot and back foot are about two, two and a half feet apart. Keeping that halfway lift, start to walk your hands towards the right side of the mat. Coming to the knife edge of the feet. Slowly begin to bend into both legs, sinking knees, sinking hips down to the earth, finding your shoelace pose. Once you get down to the earth, feel free to adjust. Try to even out the weight through the sits bones. Sitting up nice and tall. And this is where you might want to grab onto that strap because we're gonna add the arms in here as well, coming into our cool cow. All right, so left arm sweeps up and then reaching that left hand for the middle of your back. You can support the left elbow with the right hand. Open the heart or maybe you sweep that right hand down and around, seeing if the two hands can become friends at the middle of your back. If there's a little space, you can be okay with that space or you can allow that strap to dangle between the hands and allow it to help you in opening up. Sitting up nice and tall. One more breath in and out. Slowly unwind the arms, bringing the hands by your sides. And then we're gonna to start to lift our sits bones up, turning ourselves towards the top of the mat, finding runner's lunge. And then walk yourself all the way over to the left edge of your mat, towards the back of your mat, and all the way back towards the right side of your mat. Again, coming to the knife edge of both feet, and then finding your shoelace on the opposite side. So this time, left leg is on top or opposite side, evening out the weight in the hips, Sit up tall, draw the belly in. If adding the arms on is too much, you can just stay here working on finding length in your seat. 
And again, if you'd like to add on, that right arm reaches up. Maybe you just bend the elbow, allowing the left arm to assist. Or maybe you sweep that left hand around the low back, seeing if the fingers can become friends. If it's causing you to round out towards the thighs, that's when you want to add on a strap or walk it back a step. Reaching that right elbow up left elbow down, crown of the head reaching skyward, one more breath in and out, slowly releasing the fingers. This time we're just going to uncross the legs and turn towards the top of our mat. Centering yourself on the mat, putting the weight into the hands, feet go wide. Allow the legs to windshield wiper over to one side and pause here. So if your knees came over to the right, push that left hip forward. If your knees went over to the left, push the right hip forward. Try not to dump the weight into the shoulders, lift yourself away from the mat. Coming back to center, windshield wiper over to the opposite side. Whichever direction the knees went, the opposite hip presses forward. Slowly unwinding and twisting, coming back to your seat on the mat. From here, we're going to extend that left leg forward and then draw the right knee in towards the chest. Bring that right foot into the left hand. So starting to rock the hip open, rocking the leg from side to side. If that feels okay, maybe you allow the right foot to drift up to the left elbow crease. Again, finding a gentle rock, not yanking the leg, gentle rock from side to side. Finding a little core work here. So we're going to strap that right leg onto our right shoulder just like a backpack. So trying to get the leg up as high as you can on the arm. The closer to the shoulder the better. That right hand comes down to the mat. You're really going to want to clamp down the leg onto that right upper arm. Both hands plant framing the front leg. From here, we're just going to lean forward, maybe those right toes tap the earth. Inhale, lifting back up. Keep the rounding in the shoulders, draw the belly button in towards the spine. Press down through the hands, lift the hips. Maybe you also lift that left foot. And when you're ready, lower it down. Heel, hips. Unwind and twist. Maybe shake the legs out, shake the hips out, and then we'll move to the other side. So drawing left knee in, we're going to start by taking right hand to the sole of the left foot and just opening up a gentle sweeping motion of the hip from side to side. Left foot comes to the right elbow crease, cradle it like a baby. Now the good news is you're all at home, so if you want to save this um, and try it out later, or if you're watching this later and want to press pause, you can play around with it. Home practice is so important for taking risks like this. All right, when you feel nice and open, we're going to sweep that left thigh up over the shoulder like a backpack. Left hand comes down to the mat. Really clamp down with the left calf onto the left upper arm. Frame the front leg. Slowly begin to lean forward. See if you can tap those left toes to the mat. Just finding some space here through the low back. Inhale back up. Keep clamping down through the leg. Push the hands down into the mat, hollow out the core, lift the hips, and then see if you can lift that right foot. Breathe here and then lower heel, and then hips all the way down. Unwind and twist. This time, 
We'll bring the soles of the feet together, knees wide. Ah, sit up nice and tall. Take a deep breath in and exhale, hinge and fold. Inhale, rolling all the way back up, drawing those knees together, making your way all the way down onto your mat as we find our spinal twist. So your practice, your choice. I prefer the eagle legs. So strapping that right leg over the left, sending my hips off to the right side of the mat and allowing both knees to fall over to the left. But feel free to choose what feels right for you today. Making sure the legs settle to something so that you can release the lower half of the body. Try to allow the body to settle as you come back to the breath. One more breath, allow the low back to release. And then bringing legs back to center. Uncrossing, untwisting. And then finding your twist on the opposite side. Trying to mirror whatever you did previously as best as you can. Again, setting that intention to allow the lower half of the body to relax. Work is done. And then slowly beginning to make your way back to center. Again, unwinding and twisting. Recenter those hips and we'll draw both knees in wide towards the chest as you reach through for the outer edges of the feet and find that satisfying happy baby. Maybe a gentle sway from side to side. And then coming to center, allowing the whole spine to melt into the earth. And then rebending the knees, extending the legs long on the mat. As you take these final moments to set up for your final resting pose. Grabbing any props that you need, any support that feels good. And then allow a sense of heaviness to fall over the body as you close down the eyes and find your Shavasana.
beginning to deepen the breath. Reawakening the body. Starting with small movements. Wiggling fingers and toes. Rolling wrists and ankles. Take your time. And as you're ready, allowing movements to become larger as they work their way up your body. And today, bring hands down by your sides. Bring the feet down, knees up. And then whether it be to remove a prop or just to kind of take a back bend, inhale, we'll pick the hips up, taking a nice low, soft bridge. And then exhale, lowering back down, rolling over to one side. And then pressing yourself up to seated on the mat. Coming to a nice, comfortable cross-legged seat. Hands down by your sides. Inhale, circle, sweep the arms up overhead. As you exhale, press the breath out and away. Inhale, rising up, reaching up. And exhale, letting it go. One more deep breath in from Earth to Sky, breathing in the energy and vitality we've created, and turning it home to Heart Center, Anjali Mudra. Taking this energy out into the world and sharing it with everyone you meet. Honoring the life inside and teacher in us all. From my heart to yours, namaste. Well, thank you for joining me today, everyone. And if you're going back and re-watching this later, um, just a couple of pieces of advice. There are a couple of unfamiliar poses in the practice today. So if you'd like to pause the video and practice those a little bit more, or even feel free to Google them. Um, one of them was humble flamingo, and then the other one was one hand over arm balance. Um, so those were two of the unfamiliar poses. Feel free to Google those and see um, more specific cues if that's something that you'd like to continue adding to your practice. Have a great rest of your weekend. Thanks.